Hello, welcome to the live stream of Farnham Town versus Kingstonian in the Surrey Cup third round. I've got Frankie Hobbs alongside me, looking forward to a good game tonight. Yeah, should be a very good uh, and interesting test. You know, you've got sides that are two divisions apart, don't often play teams, you know, in, in that level. So, um, yeah, interesting to see team that, team that you don't play often. I think it's always a nice treat for the fans um, and a nice little away trip for Kingstonian fans as well. And it's a strong lineup for Farnham as well, maybe enforced given the, the injuries and absences at the moment, but you know, good chance to continue momentum from Saturday's 5-1 win. Yeah, look, I think Farnham um, don't have the luxury of a huge squad at the moment. Um, that's not to say that's not out of choice, actually, really. Now they're out of the uh, sort of FA Vars and, and, and this is the only real cup competition left. You don't really want to be carrying a huge squad. So a couple of absentees and suddenly you're, you're, you're down to the bare bones. And, and Farnham only named three subs today. Um, very strong side, you know, Ryan Canaan and Harry Cooksley too, that you probably would indicate to you whether it's a, a first choice team and, and those two players are playing. So um, Farnham, like they did last year, will want to end this year with silverware. Um, they're likely to do so in the league or, or on their way to do so in the league and they'll be hoping to do it in the cup as well. Yeah, and we've seen cup wins for Farnham Town in, in recent years, obviously the, the, the big one here. And like you say, after going out as the FA Vars, this has kind of become the cup run now, but by default. Yeah, look, they, they, there's, there's no um, hiding from the fact that Farnham really had to pick themselves up um, after that game against Bridgewater. Um, and I think when, you know, before, before that game, if Farnham would have advanced, I think we'd have seen a very different side here tonight. Um, maybe a couple of 23s or 18s. Uh, but the fact they got knocked out of that cup meant, you know, and you, you're sitting quite a few points clear in the league you can you can really have a go at this um, without any long-term repercussions so um, but yeah it, it should be a very interesting game and I know we were looking before Kingstonian obviously got a huge history uh, any Kingstonian fans watching you know welcome but um, you know they've done a lot in, in, in their sort of non-league journey One player to look out for for Farnham today would, would be Lewis Flatman obviously a big day for him on Saturday uh, off the bench I mean he, he would never have dreamed that he'd come off the bench and score a hat-trick but he probably needed that. He probably needed a good game to get back into form, and tonight he'll look to build on that. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, Flatman himself will tell you that um, he struggled the last few weeks. I think the sin bit. Oh, sorry, not the sin. In the red card was a bit unlike him, really. Um, he's not that sort of player, and he sort of. I think he, he, you know, went through a few things, and he's come back and he's responded in the way way he does. And he was brilliant. It was it was it was, uh, it was a proper flatty performance on on, on Saturday. Looked like an instinctual finisher, um, the, the sort of getting back to that flatty that we saw last season, and, and we've probably not seen enough of this season. Um, but he's got all the talent in the world, and, and, and Farnham, if they're going to go and win this cup, or if they're going to go and you know really do what they want in the league, they need a fit Lewis Flatman firing and scoring goals. Another thing they need is the defence to be solid, and it's been tested, especially with the injuries and, and with some departures as well. But Max Meaton went down on Saturday with a hamstring, so Braden and Kalou plays at right back tonight. It, it can be tricky playing out of position. How, how big a task is it for him and the final defence in general tonight? Yeah, look, I think you're coming up against a side that may be struggling in their own league, but they're still a step-free side. They've got step-free players, they play step-free opposition every week. So they'll. this will be a big test and, and, and defensively those fullback areas, Brandon and Tom, they'll be the first to admit they're, they're two players that have been in and out of the side this year. Um, through injuries and, and, and other reasons, so I feel you know Brandon's probably up against it a little more, being being a, a left-footed player on the right-hand side. Tom obviously gets that more natural side, so yeah, I think if I was probably the Kingstonian manager, that's probably an area you look to target with those players, maybe not being as sharp as um, yeah. I think Farnham Farnham have probably played Max and Joe as their first to first choice uh, fullbacks for the majority of the season. Um, now Jack Dean's back as well, so yeah, just a little bit of figuring out there for, for those guys to do. But um, the, you know, the talented players they wouldn't be at Farnham if they weren't. So yeah, I think we're uh, we're in for a very good game. Very, I think you know these sort of matches without the pressure of that that league campaign, the manager Jono he, he can he can have a little look at players and then really sort of assess where they are. Yeah, so we'll see Joe Jackson midfield today. Obviously, we've seen Kai Tanner who's on the bench today play in various positions throughout the last few weeks. Again, enforced as the uh, the gantry here, we're getting a bit of wind. It's definitely <laughs> blustery conditions, but the players are just getting ready to come out now. Bit of a, a wet night in Farnham. Yeah, the pitch looks good. We went we went down uh, pitch level earlier, and um, it's in good condition. Probably the best condition it's been in a while. Um, we've had a bit of a dry spell here in, in Surrey. Um, I think the the heavens are going to open tonight, and uh, it'll be a proper game of cup football. I think you know. There's a few more fans have piled in, but 
It's not going to be a huge crowd. I imagine we'll probably have more people on YouTube watching it, and I don't blame them. Um, but hopefully we can keep you entertained tonight. Absolutely. Let's listen to us ramble on, and we'll talk throughout half-time as well. Maybe look at some of the scores elsewhere in this in this competition. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's one of those competitions for Farnham where because of the, the you know, it's the Surrey Cup, it's the County Cup, you've got teams that are local derbies. And, you know, if you had Farnham versus Bachelor Lee, we're obviously with Bachelor Lee's promotion, you're, you're robbed of that derby this year. If you get that in this cup, it could be huge for the town. Um, you know, we had a thousand people here, 500 people there, uh, their ground last year. So that's a potentially huge game in the future. Absolutely. Just about ready to go. Maybe a slight delay. It is quarter to eight already. Ryan Kinane leading the town out tonight. The club captain. Farnham all in pink. Looking to advance. Kingstonian, as you say, two tiers above Farnham, but by no means overwhelming favourites. No, they're, they're struggling. They're in a very tough division in the Isthmian Prem. Um, teams like Billericay and Dulwich Hamlet, Hashtag United. Um, so they're in a, they're right up against it. Um, and when you don't have a, you know, they don't have a home ground, it's it's tough to sort of generate that income and um, to be able to have the budget that other teams have got. So they, they are struggling, and, and I think they'd be the first to admit that. Um, Interesting little fact for the game. You got the manager lives in the clock end uh, flats, but I'll let you uh, bring the teams out. And welcome to this coverage of Farnham Town versus Kingstonian in the third round of the Surrey Senior Cup. Lining up for Farnham tonight is in goal Pat Nash. In defence, Brandon Clues at right back again because of Max Meaton's injury. Jack Dean partners Ryan Kalane at centre back and Tom Smith is at left back. In midfield, it's Harry Cooksley and Joe Jackson. Dale Sanders misses out tonight, so Dean Rule and Lewis Flatman play in behind Owen Dean and Adam Little. And just three men on the bench tonight, Charlie Postance, Shamal Edwards and Kai Tanner. For Kingstonian, it's Robert Tolfrey in goal. And in defence, it's Joshua Duodu, Samuel German, Matty Water and Matthew Drake. Jude Mason plays alongside Florian Castrati and Hakeem Adflacon. And in attacking positions, it's Andy Sommo, Eddie Desain and Freddie Price. On the bench, it's Jamie Howell, Liam Bello, Errol Dessa and Emmanuel Adebayi. Yeah, Kingstonian last season just about stayed up in their division. Simon Lane came in, manager, you'll, you might just see him walk across the pitch. Done a very good job to keep them up and uh, we'll be hoping to do the same again this season. Yeah, we might see this fixture more often if uh, things pan out a certain way. Well, if they, if you, <laughs> you know, you don't want to sort of write both teams a victory, but um, Farnham are looking like they're going to get promoted and unfortunately for Kingstonian they are looking like they're going to get relegated so with the, with the location of both seeds you, you do think they'll be playing you know <coughs> Kingstonian have just announced that they're going to be playing their football at Rains Park Vale who obviously are in that in that division that Farnham would, would potentially go into so could be, a, could be a little preview next season Absolutely Some players braving the short sleeves tonight <laughs> Yeah Um I didn't really ever get on with Under Armour. Um, I think I'd have been more of the Adam Little gloves and the trademark Little look. Yeah. So Kingstonian are going to get us underway, and they'll attack the clock end first half, which will delight Farno, I'm sure, as they'll get a go second half. They like to. Open the floodgates second half of that clock end. We've seen it a few times in the league recently. Will they follow soup tonight? So Kingstonian get us underway. And the rain's really starting to come down hard. I think testing the goalkeeper might be the order of the day. Yeah, it depends what way that wind's going. It doesn't, you know, as to where, where that advantage will be, but um interesting. Got a flat ball issue already. I'm just looking to sort this ball issue out. 
Which they seem to have done. Flatman will give it back to Kingstonian. Whose goalkeeper certainly wrapping up warm tonight. Robert Tolfrey between the sticks for the visitors. Kingstonian pick up the second ball from Kanane's header. And Drake looks wide. Forward it goes. And Kanane elects to let it bounce. Wins the header. Smith hooks it away, but Kingstonian pick it up again. And some space now for maybe a shot to come. And it does go across the face of goal. Well dealt with by Farnham, but an early scare. Little tracking back, but still not clear. Kingstonian started well. In it comes. Away by Jackson. And just a warning sign there early on. Yeah, look, the, the, the team that are a couple of divisions above are certainly showing that early on. Um, Farnham need to switch on. It's another different back four, and they, they're going to have to you know, pick this up quick. Kalu goes for the header. It's going to come here for Castrati on my left-hand side. And a good delivery from him. And the shot took a deflection. It's actually going to be a goal kick. I think it came off the Kingstonian striker. But another good opportunity, and that time from a wide position. Yeah, look, I mean, Farnham have, have, have actually been guilty of being caught um, cold in a couple of league games, and the opposition maybe haven't had the quality to, to punish them. Kingstonian will have that quality, so they're going to need to switch on immediately. Yeah, Kingstonian look very sharp. Yeah, look, it's an opportunity for them. You know, they're struggling in the league, but this can be a nice little uh, distraction from that. The wind caught that one. Kanane gets it away towards Rule, but... And now a marauding run forward and some space for Desain maybe. Works it across and another promising position for Kingstonian. Brandon Kalu does well. Wins not one tackle but two. And now releases Owen Dean. Who doesn't have a great deal of support but he loves to dribble. Just dispossessed that time. Harry Cooksey cuts out the pass. And now Tom Smith. Good, good couple of tackles there for Brandon Kalu. Um, been a bit of area, been a bit of space for Kingstonian over on his side, and, and, and that will settle him down. Rule. And now Dean. Kalu again. Seeing plenty of the ball early on. Kingstonian may be happy to see that. He does have to cut inside onto his left a lot of the time. Rule. And now Kenane. Flatman drops into a lot of space on the halfway line and looks wide for Smith. It's just a bit too heavy. Look, that's gone out, but that's, that, and they are the sort of areas you want Lewis Flatman picking up the ball. So I, I don't think the uh, Farnham management will be too disappointed with that. Get Flatman on the ball, get him putting the ball in behind the Kingstonian defence. Referee not happy with Silly. Uh, the uh, throw in. I definitely don't want to pile on to the referees, but did he, did he need to send that back two yards? I don't know. Smith claims for handball, not given. And again, it's worked to this left-hand side. Kalu cuts it out, though. Price really looking to expose the fullback. Nash looking for Flatman. Again, just a bit too heavy, the Farnham pass. Little loves to press in these areas, put some pressure on the Kingstonian defence. And, and that, forces the error. That's what happens when you press high. Um, Adam Little's, you know, he, he had that three game ban and he's come back in and he just gives you that electricity up front. But that's a mistake. Unfortunately, Kanane was well placed to 
prevent any serious problems for Farnham there, but they've been a bit sloppy a couple of times in possession. Yeah, definitely going to need to clean this up. Um, haven't really been able to get Harry Cooks in the ball as much as they probably like. Kane going long and again goes astray. Water does well. And Mason driving forward. Water again. And some space now for Price, who skips past Kalu and gets his cross in. Klain heads it away. Again, claims of handball. And a lovely turn there from Rule. Smith like, looking for the run of rule, but that's going to run through to Robert Tolfrey. Certainly a different challenge for Farnham tonight. You know, the, the Kingstonian players just physically look at, you know, a lot better than the, the level of players Farnham come up in against you know, week in, week out. So certainly going to test them more the other way than a lot of teams they face in the league. Mason. Looking for the run of Price again. This time Dean comes across. But again, the cross is delivered. Kinane gets it away. And Cooksley is almost a wonderful take by Rule. But again, the visitor is able to regain possession. And Water looks very useful on the ball. I think, I think you spoke too early there, mate. <laughs> but yeah, he's, he's looked very good. They've looked very comfortable on the ball all, all around the pitch, really. Um, these fullbacks and wingers look like they're really going to test Brandon Kalou and uh, Tom Smith. This time it's worked to the right flank. Water again. Happy to pass it around and wait for the opening, Kingstonian. But they do look long again, and this time Kalu couldn't cut it out, and the flag has bailed Farnham out. Yeah, the, 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 definitely the, the area they're targeting is, is over, over Kalu's head there. A um, couple of times Kalu's sort of been sucked in, and, and, and there's been space there, so I think the management are sort of communicating something there to, to do that. And I think Jack Dean's got to probably help him out a little bit there. Um, obviously, a different back four, so another challenge again for Farnham, but uh, got away with it that time, and that they'll need to clean it up. Yeah, Ryan Kinane looking to talk his defenders through the game, as he so often does. A bit frantic, maybe, at the moment. Yeah, you know, you've got some players here, Ryan Kinane, Harry Cooksey, they've played at the same level as this, and they, they, they know what it demands, so perhaps they're going to try and drag everyone else up to that level. Water, searching ball. It's going to test Tom Smith's composure. It does it, well. Again, it's gone over the fullback's head. That is, you know, you probably see a little bit more football when you go lower down the pyramid. But when you get to that step three level, it's very, you know, you're hitting areas. It's very, um, don't make a mistake, really. Um, so, yeah, definitely a theme of the game so far. Play, come out! Rules touch, couldn't quite bring it in. And now Mason, will you look for that ball over the top again? Aaron Dean gets back in well and receives it from Flatman. Cooksley, good pressure though from Kingstone, you're not allowing Farnham any time on the ball. No, but that's, it's brilliant work from Aaron Dean there. Um, good, honest player, that's what you're going to get from him. Here's Jack Dean. Yeah, good to see both, both Dean brothers starting. They, they've not actually, because of injuries and suspensions, they've not actually started a lot of games together. So I know that will that will please their, uh, their their father. Jackson. And now Rule. And he's looking for Kalou. He will keep it in. Dean and Kalou there. Yeah, very uncharacteristic, that. And a 
good turn, but Farnham have numbers in the middle. And now Cooksley will look for Little. He tried to flick it around Drake. Maybe wanted a free kick. Didn't get it. And Dean's header is actually going to go out for a corner to Kingstonian. Much to the delight of the travelling fans. Yeah, which there are a few, you know. Um, don't always get travelling fans that are, that are vocal at our level. Um, so very, very interesting dynamic. Water. Gets the return pass. And just nudged off it there by Cooksley. Surprised he didn't go down, to be honest. Little does well to hold that up. And now Farnham have numbers. Rule has Flatman running to his left. What will Dean Rule choose? He does go for Flatman. Just a bit too much on the pass. Space almost opened up for himself. Smith. And now Flatman. Smith offering him a run. Flatman comes inside. Here's Liddell in the penalty area. Just tried to maybe do too much there, Adam Liddell. But better from Farnham. Really opened up for Dean Rule a moment ago. And Farnham will hope for more situations like that. They're going to pick up the second ball here. Rule. Flatman, full of confidence. And you can see why. Lewis Flatman with an absolute screamer. Hat-trick on Saturday, breaks the deadlock tonight. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, look, I was just about to say Farnham had started to really get a foothold on this one. And uh, that break, and uh, they, they just look like they're, they're getting a bit more comfortable. But we were speaking about him before the game. That's just typical Lewis Flatman. He's carried on where he left off on Saturday. Delighted for the man, delighted for Farnham. Um, and now, you know, Kingstonian have to come on to them. So really brilliant goal um, and, and sums up what is a great week for Lewis. You could just sense it was only a couple of minutes, but Farnham starting to turn the screw. Firstly, that opening for Rule, and then Flatman found all kinds of space there. Yeah, both Rule and Flatty had sort of been picking up a lot of, lot of interesting areas. And Kingstonian, really, they'll be, they'll be annoyed. That was a poor header. Um, Interesting to see how they respond. You know, they're a team at the bottom of the table. How do they pick themselves up from that? That's like I'm looking for water. Can they find an instant response? In comes the cross. Well dealt with. And that's gone out of play. And whilst there were no clear-cut chances for Kingstonian in that first 15 minutes or so, they will maybe regret not taking a hold of the game and going one they up themselves. Yeah, they certainly edged the, edged the first 15 minutes. Um, as you say, no clear-cut chances, but they, they looked up for it. They looked like they, you know, they had a few routes in. Um, but Farnham have, have, have sort of proved what they've done all season and ridden that wave. Oh, that's a, that's a poor tackle. Yeah, little. But yeah, Lewis, Lewis Flatman... He sort of opened up and, and there was he had so much space and, and the key, when he shot, the keeper didn't seem to dive, so I, I kind of assumed it was going wide. Um, but it ended up in the corner and, and, and you know he carries on that form and quietly, you know, you'd, you'd say for him he maybe had a slightly underperforming season. But if you start to look at his numbers, he's 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 putting together a season. Yeah, Robert Tolfrey was really rooted to the spot. Beautiful finish from Flatman. Not sure, I need to watch it back again, but maybe the wind sort of, maybe it picked up a little bit of wind or whatever. Farnham again dispossessed in the middle though. And Sommer is going to look to punish that. Just poor control there from Castrati, but they'll come again, Kingstonian, with Price. And it's an interesting battle there between him and Kalu. Yeah, they look like they're going to be going at it all game. Um, Mason. Again, Kalu does his defensive duties and it's another corner for Kingstonian. Only Adam Liddell has remained forward for Farnham. And Pat Nash comes and claims, and I wonder if he'll look for Little straight away. Instead, he rolls it into the path of Tom Smith. 
And he'll look for Little, who lets it run. It's dealt with. But Little chased it down again and left something on Tolfrey there. Little pleads his innocence. Yeah, not sure he's going to get away with that one, <laughs> to be honest. He, I mean, look, he had every right to go for it, and he should have gone for it, but, um, yeah. It's one of those, but Farnham will be happy now. Um, certainly got the got control of the game, um, but definitely not, definitely not, you know, um, Kingston definitely not out of it. They're, you know, they're, they're looking positive still. They're still coming forward. They've probably edged possession, really, without, without knowing the, the, the stat. <laughs> You see a lot of teams come here and go one nil down and heads drop and they yeah, maybe realise that. that it's it's maybe not game over but it's a long way back. But Kingston, like you say, have been positive since the goal. Yeah, the number eleven here is 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 uh, has, has looked lively for sure. And actually, the fullback behind him, they, he sort of supported him really well. They probably need something else from the other side. Um, Tolfrey looks in some distress. He just. I tell you what's interesting. A lot of teams at this level won't have a keeper on the bench. So you sort of look around your squad and you say, Who, "Who's the emergency keeper?" I know for Farnham, um, it would be Owen Dean. So, or potentially Kaitana. So, yeah, let's hope it doesn't come to that. No, I think it'll be all right. It'll take a lot for a keeper to, to not want to play. Yeah, he's just getting to his feet gingerly. Maybe. Maybe his foot just kicked little studs or something. Yeah, there's certainly a noise. Um, looks like we're back on the way. Again, looking for Price, who flicks it over the top. Dean covers well. Little's going to pressure water, but Little has it again. Cooksley looking for Flatman, the goal scorer. Man of the moment. Lovely from Cooksley to find Flatman in space again. And Owen Dean's making a run through the middle. And he almost took it in his stride. There was yeah. a lot of pace on the ball from Flatman, but there needed to be. It, I mean, it was sort of one of those areas that you're seeing a lot of nowadays where attacking midfielders sort of cross from the middle of the pitch. See, I mean, don't want to compare them, but you see that a lot with Kevin De Bruyne. Um, Owen Dean just couldn't quite convert that, but uh, he made a good run. Yeah, Harry Cooksley starting to see a lot more of the ball now as well. Yes, typically how you know Farnham got control of the game is when, when it starts going through Cooksley. Smith. And Kenane. Step forward. Looking for some movement ahead of him. Spots it from Dean. Just couldn't quite leap high enough to win the header, but second ball's again picked up by Farnham and Dean rule. Sort of thing a manager, you know, they really look for. It's not about that first ball, it's who challenges and wins up the seconds. They're normally the side that win the game. Smith got his delivery wrong that time. Yeah, look, it's an area, uh, Smith, it's what you sort of get him in the side for is that delivery and he, he, he will definitely need to improve that. Again, good pressing from the Farnham forwards. Dean and Little have been very lively. But Kingstonian beat the press. And here's Castrati. Little. And Dean Rule dropping very deep here and doing well. Here's Jack Dean. Brandon Kalou provides an option. Cuts inside and was looking for Joe Jackson to make a run. Just a bit of miscommunication maybe and Price will look to get away. Jack Dean comes across and helps out. And he's pulled back there by Price and he'll do very well to escape a card there. Yeah, so he didn't really need to do that. I think mean, he'd lost out. Um, gonna be, he's going to have to be very quick to beat Jack Dean in a foot race, a fullback by trade. Um, so probably just a bit of silly, a bit of ill-discipline, a bit of frustration at being one nil down and, and you know, ultimately having a, having, a, having a difficult season and that sort of thing can creep in. 
But as we suge suggested, Dean starting to come across and help out Kalu has kind of made Price's life a bit more difficult. Yeah, we've certainly you've certainly said his name less and less, and uh, Farnham just getting a bit more of a grip on it. And Lids has done well there. Rule. Right. And now Tom Smith. Joe Jackson. Here's Cooksley. Dean looking over the top for Flatman. But Kingston is able to gather. Again, they're pressed. And again, they do well to get out of it. Water. Mason. Over the top it goes. Sono. Looking to take on Jack Dean. No easy task. And Farnham can pass their way out of trouble. But that one goes awry. Yeah, look, Kingstonian have been very good in the sort of their defensive third or defensive half. They've actually looked at a couple of nice little patterns, but once they've got into Farnham's half, they've just they're just beginning to uh, not run out of ideas, but go through that playbook and, and, and not trying to find the right one. Brandon Kalu launches a throw. Doesn't beat Price, but Jackson picks up the ball. Again, the second ball won by Farnham. They've been dominant in that department. Smith looking for Dean. And he's somehow salvaged it, Owen Dean. Really good. So tenacious him. in there. So tenacious. Rule. Farnham a lot more patient in their build up since going a goal up. Little. Smith. Looks like happy to go back. And as is Joe Jackson. It's lovely possession from Farnham. Waiting for an opening. Jack Dean kind of needs to step in there, really. He had a lot of time to travel. But they're making Kingstonian players chase. Here's Little. Waits for some support. Reverse pass to Tom Ooh. Smith, who was brought down as a penalty. Lovely run from Tom Smith, cutting inside. And he drew the defender just inside the penalty area. And Farnham have a chance to double their lead. I mean, you, it's a bad one when you can see it sort of coming a mile off and, it, and he didn't seem to pull out the tackle. Because um, he never looked like he was going to get near the ball. Um, clear decision. I mean, I don't think I've heard a peep from the Kingstonian bench, bench which suggests it was uh, the right call. And uh, be su look surprising that it's not Harry Cooksley unless it's one of those, you know, player sort of distracts the other players uh, gimmick. Looks that like Harry Cooksley will step forward. Got a very good record from the spot. Yeah, well, F Farnham actually... <laughs> Maybe I'll say that after the goal. <laughs> so, Harry Cooksley. He's only ever gone to the keeper's right. And you said that quietly, so that they wouldn't hear you. And it's saved, but Cooksley scores the rebound. <laughs> Farnham have doubled their lead in maybe fortuitous fashion. It is a missed penalty for Cooksley, but he was Johnny on the spot to make it too. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens now. Farnham operate a, um, if the penalty taker misses the penalty, it moves on to the next penalty taker. So I think it was it was Flatty, he missed one against Reigns Park, I think in pre-season. Then it was Darrell and he missed one, uh, I can't remember which game, but then now it's Cooksley and he hadn't missed one until then. So we'll ask him after the game <laughs> where they go with the penalties, but. Cooksley, I think, you know, he's, he's scored a lot of goals this season and, and Farnham will be delighted. They, they had just been had just been beginning to turn that screw um, and it's well-deserved. They're very good value for their two-goal lead now. Yeah, he'd scored seven penalties before that one, Harry Cooksley. 
That one obviously won't go down as his eighth. But Farnham won't care. Here's Price. And Tom Smith happy to concede a corner. Yeah, if you heard a few um, sack the board chants there from the Kingstonian fans. You, you do have to feel for them. It's not nice seeing a... You know, I don't know all the details, I'm not going to profess to, but when a club has seemingly been mismanaged from what their fans claim, then it's, it's not nice to see it at whatever level. So Kingstonian have had a few chances from set pieces. Can they carve out something that might trouble Pat Nash here? The in-swinger comes in. It's a Farnham head that meets it though. And there is an ominous feeling about this game now. But we have seen teams, we saw Spellthorne come back into it against Farnham from this situation. In this stadium, a couple of weeks ago. Another one of our live streams. Yeah, I hate to say, I hate to say something that sounds so obvious, but the next goal does feel huge. Um, if it's for a Farnham, Farnham goal, then you, you really do start to fear for those Kingstonian heads. If it's, if it's for the visitors, then we're game on. Um, yeah, I mean, I know the next goal in football is always critical, but it, it feels particularly his. German. Plenty of space for Mason. And he floats it towards the back post, and again, Smith has to just turn it behind for a corner. Well, he's probably taken the sensible option there, really, but potentially could have done, maybe hooked it round, but yeah. I think I'll make that four corners for Kingstonian already. Good, vo good voice from the travelling fans, to be fair. Yeah, spirit's not dampened by the 2-0 lead for Farnham. Can they find the route back into the game, though? It's a good delivery. A goal kick. Yeah, there was they, space there. They've had a few of those and then, and they're going to need to convert one of them. Just couldn't get a good contact on it. We've got 300 people watching a live stream, so thank you all very much for tuning in. Hope you're enjoying it. Yeah, don't, don't, be, don't be scared to hit that subscribe button. Treated to a lovely Lewis Flatman opener and a Harry Cooksey goal. It was his 19th goal involvement of the season, his 12th goal. Incredible numbers for a midfielder. Kingstonian coming forward again, still positive, still looking to find a route back into it. Yeah, just there, they've picked up a couple of little second balls as we were talking about earlier, and that, that, that can maybe hint that the, the momentum's shifting again. Mason. Price. This time Jack Dean. Just got a bit too close for comfort. Gives away the free kick. I'd certainly say the momentum's changed a little bit in the last five minutes. And if you are Simon Lane, you're you're happy with that. You know your team haven't sort of folded. I think it's easy to come here in a cup competition, two 0 down, and just sort of switch off. But these players have got to have a little bit of personal pride. You're, you know, as much as Farnham have got a very good team and, and they're known for that. You're playing a team two divisions below. You want to have a little bit of pride in that, and uh, it's encouraging for them that they have they have sort of um, you know looked to turn it around. Yeah, they've responded to both goals very well. I haven't let their heads drop towards the back post. And again, Fana managed to deal with it. And Little will hunt this one down. He wanted a free I mean, kick. He's there. all over him. Uh, can we get more speed in the delivery? We said fast and flat. Why is it curling? And Price with some good feet. Opportunity maybe here. Just no real space to get a shot away for Castrati. And it's out of play in the end. 
But yeah, look, it's been a, it's been a pretty impressive five minutes here for Kingstonian. They've got to got to keep keep this up. As the rain continues to pour, I can't. I don't know if the, the live stream is picking up, but the conditions are pretty poor. They always seem to be on a Tuesday night here in Farnham, but. Kenane stood his ground. Nothing legally. In it. Nothing in it. <laughs> Stays down, but didn't look like there was much in it. I think he's just continuing the sell job there. Jackson. Pat Nash. Very calm in those situations, Pat Nash. Smith loses his footing. I think he slipped. And Kinane again standing his ground against Somo. Yeah, Kinane and Nash done really well there. They, you know, that's that's a partnership that's really blossomed throughout the season. I, I think it maybe took them a little while. I know the record shows that they kept a lot of clean sheets, but it did take them a little bit of time to figure that out. And and now they have. I think they've got a great relationship, great working relationship, and that, that you know, Farnham are reaping the rewards of that. Rule. And now Dean had his shirt pulled, but he stays upright. Gets his shirt pulled again, Owen Dean. Nothing deters him. Here's Rule. Harry Cooksley. Infield to Jackson. Farnham working it from right to left. Kalu. All the way back to Nash. Again, Somo chasing. And now Dean has time. Ball just bounced up on him a bit there, though. Rule did well. Kalu. Again, happy to go back to Nash. You can see the, the, his left-footedness there is almost forcing him into that way. If he was right-footed, he could find him get a lot more joy there. Not, not a fault of Kalu at all. Dean. Rule has come deep to create some space. Jackson. Great ball for Smith, who controlled it well. But again, having to come backwards. And Kinane's touch a little loose. That just meant that he had to kick it out of play. Yeah, but Farnham moving the ball nicely there. Um, showing patience. But Kingstonian have shown they've got enough quality here to, uh, to cause them problems. So, certainly got a game here in Farnham. Just haven't quite carved out a really good chance. No, they've not tested Nash, really. Um, these wet and windy conditions, perfect time to test. Worked across well to Doadu. And uh, little tracking back gives away the free kick. German slipped as he launched it forward and Kalu sensibly heads back to Nash and we're edging closer to half time Farnham with a two goal cushion for just joining us it was Lewis Flatman who opened the scoring and Harry Cooksley missed a penalty but converted from the rebound but despite the comfortable scoreline they haven't necessarily had it all their own way Farnham no it's been a bit against... of an interesting game I think both both sides haven't really carved out opportunities um, both look yeah like they can't really break each other down but I I'm sure as the game progresses that game will start to stretch and you'll get pockets for Owen Dean and Lewis Flatman and the players of quality in Kingstonian on the ball as if the rain doesn't carry on coming down yeah it's getting heavier and it's making it Difficult as we see there. Little. 
Adam Liddell will love these sort of conditions. He's just, he just loves it. He loves football. He's an aggressive player. He's you know, I think he said his own comparison was Jamie Vardy, and I thought that was I thought that was very apt. Absolutely. Kingstonian fans enjoyed that one as Nash boots it out of play. But that's going to be cut out by Rule. And he was just looking to release Flatman a little there, but ran out of time. And Mason's touch let him down. Kingstonian fans seem to be cheering on their own players making mistakes. Very, don't see that a lot of the time. Jackson. Kalu. Now you're just seeing one or two loose touches. And that's towards us from Jack Dean. Yeah, it's interesting, Farnham, you know, there are certain little um, habits that you can pick up in, in, in the combine counties that you won't get away with tonight. Um, sort of cheating on men and when it comes to um, throw-ins and stuff, and, and, and Farnham aren't able to do that today. So they, they, they're going to have to clean that up again. Forward by Mason, Jack Dean underneath it, and a lovely little touch by Cooksley. And Owen Dean with a good first touch as well. And he's going to drive straight through the heart of the Kingstonian defence. Just stopped in his tracks there, though. I think he thought Lids was going to pick it up, but he didn't. Here come Kingstonian again. And they've got numbers. And that was a nice touch there, the same. And Flacon's shot was a bit weak. And this time it's the Farnham fans, I think, that are cheering from behind the goal. Yeah, not a pretty sight, that shot at all. Um, Just evidence, really, of their inability so far to create good chances and, and test Pat Nash. Yeah, for sure. Um, Kinane's sort of not really got out of first or second gear yet. Um, not that he often does, but... Ryan Kinane still barking out orders. It's interesting though that that sort of right hand side, they hadn't really gone down there a lot. Tom Smith had sort of not really been tested and he got past them with ease there. Kalu's done very well there. Yeah, good work by Kalu. And has support from Cooksley. And here's Dean. Looking to weave his way out of this situation there. Castrati, and he does, but his pass forward is met by Jack Dean. Oh, and Dean chases it down again. He will not let a defender rest. Little also pressing. It's been difficult for Kingstone in these situations. German back to Tolfrey. And eventually they do have to go airborne, but a good ball and a good touch. And here's the same. Flicks it around the corner. Somo making the run beyond the Wudu, but he cuts back and just poor decision making there, perhaps. But a tricky one for Pat Nash to deal with. In the end, it works out well for Farnham. Good, get Josh here. Good shot. Good shot. Here's Smith. Feels like Farnham want for half time. <laughs> yeah. A lot of noise coming from behind the, the goal at the clock end. <laughs> there's, there's not as many in tonight as you maybe see at a league game, but they're having a great time of it. Yeah, look, it's, uh, it's what I think that with, with these cups, there's a lot less stress than a league game. It feels like the league is. It's obviously the both teams' priority. Um, you can have a little bit more fun at these cups, and then you know, entry tonight was free, which you know as a club we're really proud of. Um, free with a food bank donation, and, and I'm you know, pleased to report there's been so many donations to the food bank tonight. Um, we'll, we'll put a, we'll put something on social media, and you know we're really proud to, to um, work with the food bank and, and try and publicise them as much as we can. Um, you know we, we definitely serve the community we're in, so yeah, we're very proud of that one. And actually really happy for Kingstonian fans that have, have got involved. 
Um, they they, they publicise the donations. They've come in their their you know numbers and, and made big donations. So we're very happy, very grateful for all of them. And um, yeah, just going to say thanks to, to Kingstonian and their supporters. And perhaps a opportunity for Farnham before half time. Harry Cooksley standing over the free kick. First real opportunity for the likes of Kinane to stride forward. And it comes from Cooksley into a dangerous area, but nobody attacking inside yeah, the six yard box. That to gamble. Um, maybe a Postance would have done that or a Shams would have done that. Yeah, two men that would like to see some minutes in the second half, perhaps. And we know Farnham like to ring the changes when they've got a comfortable lead, and at the moment they have it. But Kingstonian, by no means, giving up here. Again, Liddell leading the press. Dean chasing it down. It is work to Prince, who takes a tumble under the challenge of Kalu. I think the, uh, the scream sort of definitely bought it for him. He seems to be running very fine now. That's a good ball. The Seine comes back and his pass goes astray. And now Flatman can latch onto this one. And he has got both Little and Rule for support. He's looking for Little. Maybe the ball came a bit too early. Could have driven into the space himself, perhaps. Yeah, I, I think he, he probably needed to make a defender commit before he played the pass. That's a good ball. And Desane might be in here. Gets onto his left foot and scores. And Kingstonian do have a route back into the game. Through Eddie Desane, out of nothing, really. Yeah, he's, he's actually come into the game in the last five minutes. He beat Tom Smith earlier and he, he sort of got down the side there. He, Ryan Canane tried to catch up with him. Seemed like he did catch up with him. And he cut back in on that left and um, brilliant finish. Kingstonian, you know, probably in the last balance of the last 10 minutes, maybe deserve that. Excellent composure. <coughs> and just as I was saying, finally have a comfortable lead. It's been cut in half. Yeah, it goes without saying, but it's an awful time to concede. Rule, and now Liddell. Can they restore the two goal cushion? Adam Liddell. And he was looking for Flatman, and the ball was just behind him. A real opportunity there. And the board's gone up, and we'll have two more minutes of this first half. And a bit of a shock to the Farnham system, but. No need to panic. Uh, definitely not. They've got control of the game. And uh, they've, they've been the better side. You know, they've got to ride out this, this next couple of minutes to half time, get in and reassess and, and attack the clock end. You know, the end they want to attack the, the most. Again, fair play to the Kingstonian fans behind that goal. Creating a great cup tie atmosphere, which is what we wanted out of this Tuesday night. Good work by Liddell to win that back. Dean. And it's really well worked. Farnham would love one more chance before the break, but they're not going to get it. The referee brings to an end the first period. And it's Farnham 2, Kingstonian 1. It was Lewis Flatman who broke the deadlock with a lovely goal, adding to his hat-trick at the weekend. Harry Cooksey made it too with a rebound from a missed penalty. But just on the stroke of half-time, the same with a lovely left-footed finish. Got Kingstonian back into it, and how will that change the half-time team talk for Paul Johnson? But it'll, um, they've definitely got a game here, and they can't sort of ride and, and casually ride halfway, you know, half, half, half through it. So, um, yeah, I think if anything, it gives Simon Lane and his team in the Kingstonian dressing room um, you know, a lot of impetus now to come into the second half and, and really fancy it. Yeah, they, they, they started well, Kingstonian, and looked like they were going to sort of dominate the, the early proceedings, and the Flatman goal just sort of 
put a put a fork in that. Um, but Farnham's missed chance at the end. I just wonder with Lidl. I wonder if that might be something they come back to. Yeah, regret. it's an interesting one. It, it, Flatman was there and he, he sort of he had his head up. He didn't seem to find him, and then by the time he had found him, it was too late. Um, you just hope for Farnham's sake they don't regret to you know live to regret that. Um, but on the whole, I think it's a weird one. Is it? You go in at half time, a two one scoreline, and both managers have probably got little bits to be happy about there. Yeah, and it's, the one thing that stands out to me is the atmosphere. It really has felt like a great Tuesday night cup tie. I mean, we've spoken a lot about the FA of ours and going out, but this is some, some replacement. Yeah, uh, you know, I think probably everyone who's come to this game has had a little... They, they probably didn't have the biggest expectations for this being a, a good atmosphere, but the, to be fair, the Kingstonian fans have come in their numbers and, and they've made it a proper cup tie. And, 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 you know, the Farnham fans behind the goal responded. Um, so, yeah, we've got a proper cup tie here, you know. Um, not as many fans as we're here for the FA Vars and the Bridgewater game and the final of this cup isn't at Wembley but it's uh, you know it's at a national league ground um, it's a big competition you all you know can you be the best team in your county that you know that's a relatively big thing you know you've got teams such as Woken in this Kingstonian themselves um, you know Aldershot are obviously in it and um, yeah big sides so both sides will want to get through want to progress and and take something that their fans can sort of get behind. Absolutely. And let's let's touch on the goals, because Lewis Flatman made a lot of headlines on Saturday for all the right reasons. It was a really well-taken hat-trick. And maybe he wasn't the most influential player in that first half in terms of the patterns of play, but he had one big chance, and that was an emphatic finish. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I think he's, a, he's an, obviously a very good footballer, and I don't want to reduce him to this, but he's a moments player. And um, he sort of comes up in, the, in those big moments, and he, he had that space 25 yards out. And he doesn't need a second invitation to shoot. Um, and that shot rifled in. Uh, keeper, as you said on, on commentary, left rooted to the spot. Um, brilliant finish, and it's what you can do. And, and, and players like that in games, you know, you've got to have your nice players, your Harry Cooksleys and, and players like that that can really sort of make sure you dominate a game. But when you have players like that that can sort of turn a game on a sixpence, because arguably Kingstonian, you know, had the better of the opening exchanges and um, Flatman's quality on the ball when he, when he gets in front of goal, it can, it can, it can win you games. What do you think caused this sudden upturn in form? I know he's obviously had a good season, like you said, his numbers have been good, but as you as you put it, he would be the first to admit he'd maybe gone off the boil ever so slightly before Saturday. What do you think has given him that maybe kick that he needed to to come into this form now? Yeah, it's an interesting one. He, um, you know, know that no no Lewis very well, um, and it, you know I think he he sort of had a that suspension. He had a moment there where he could have gone one or two way one of two ways. Um, and he's took that moment. I know he's had a, a long conversation with the management team and he, and he sort of said, right, I, I either kick on here or I lose my place in the team. And he doesn't want to do that. And, and, and you know, the impact he's had on this club, um, you know, it's easy to look at the, the team now and think, God, we've got all these great players. But Lewis Flatman was almost one of those sort of, was one of the first what you'd call big players to join. And without him, you might not have got the rest. Um, I think if I'm speaking candidly, you come into this season, Lewis. You know, last season, Lewis Flatman was was the man at Farnham. Um, this summer, Farnham have gone out, recruited big. They've signed Daryl Sanders, Ryan Canane, Harry Cooksley, a lot of big characters, a lot of experienced players, and 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 did that impact Flatty slightly? You know, he, he perhaps wasn't needed to carry the team as much. I think it. I think it affected him slightly, um, and it, it maybe he had to readjust his expectations. And I think a little bit of time out of the team's helped him. He's come back in and and. You know, realise that even if he's a, a you know, he's a, a smaller part of a bigger team and a better team, I think it's ultimately good for him, and 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 I'm delighted for him because he deserved that today. He deserved that. He, you know, he's a, he's a brilliant player and a character to have around the club, um, and that's what your club needs if you're going to rise through the division. So yeah, delighted for him, and I, and I think I think that suspension. Yeah, that, if I go back to it, he just had that moment to go, right, either I. I'm out of the side here and I'm going to struggle to get back in or I get my head down. And he's got his head down, brilliant on Saturday and, and got his goal tonight. And suddenly you've got a situation where obviously Daryl Sanders isn't here tonight, but I, th I don't think it's any secret that when he's fit and available he plays. But now you've got Dean Rule who's coming into some good form, a lot of goal contributions as of late. Flatman, Hattrick, great goal tonight. I mean, some of the other forwards can play in that sort of number 10 position. We've seen Owen Dean play there. <laughs> bit of a headache for Paul Johnson. Yeah, and then you've got Charlie Postance and Shams on the bench tonight. You know, probably... 50, 60 goals between them last year. Um, it is a headache, and it's a headache that Paul Johnson's made for himself. I think we say headache, and it's probably a headache most managers would want. You know, you know, he's got a load of good players that are, that are ready. 
Um, and I think what the beauty of it is in Farnham can sort of just, as players go up and down in form, Farnham can just sort of ride that and whoever's in form can play and whoever's out of form, you know, has to work off the bench. What I would say is it, it, it makes for an un unbelievable standard because, you know, there's almost a feeling if you're a striker or a forward and you don't score, you're almost like, I'm not sure I'm going to play the next game. It's, like, it's pretty unbelievable, I'm, I, remarkable. It's, it's maybe more, more um, reminiscent of the older days of football where, you know, you probably have four strikers in the squad. You don't really see that nowadays, you know. I look at the top levels of football, you, you sort of, you, you get rested or dropped for a couple of games. You're, you're already looking at the, the back door, you know, as an Arsenal fan, our Ramsdale got dropped for a couple of games, already linked with moves to Chelsea and Newcastle. Um, and it's the same in non-league, you know, you're out of the team for a little bit, you start looking at the next club, you know, you're not, you're not tied to, to contracts, or at least most players aren't tied to contracts at this level. So, um, yeah, you know, John has done a pretty good job in managing all those players. Um, and, you know, it's almost an embarrassment of riches. Um, but, yeah, well, I think we'll see Shamal Edwards and Charlie Possence off the bench. And, and another one's Kai Tanner. You know, he's come from Sutton. Um, he's not, not, not had as many opportunities as maybe he'd have liked. Absolutely, but the second goal came from... It was a positive run by Tom Smith to win the penalty. Any complaints, you think, from a Kingstonian perspective? The only the only thing I think was, which would be a debate and we'd have to watch it back is whether it was in the box or not. Um, he's definitely made contact with him and enough contact to give a penalty. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it just looked clumsy. Yeah. Uh, he sort of... The, the defender sort of picked up on the, on the, on the wet surface as well and, and just gone just flying into him. Didn't need to make that tackle. Tom wasn't... I mean, he's in, in the box, but he's not making a... He's not a particularly dangerous area. Um, but, yeah. Harry, we, you know, we, we'll just, I'm sure we'll discuss it, but Harry Crooks, he's probably got to think of a new way to go. Yeah, I, I mean, that's quite a, quite a... That's what I was going to ask next. I mean, that's his first miss in a, in a while. Um, will, that, will that change psychologically how he... Goes about his, his next no, penalty. I don't know. Look, he's I mean he's a confident confident player, and you know with his ability you would be. Um, I don't. I don't. You know the fact he, he he sort of he always hits it hard, so there's always the chance you're going to get someone like that to, to really catch one of his penalties. You're going to have to do very well. Um, but you know it's an interesting one because you say, oh well, why doesn't he go the other way? But now keepers will be expecting the other way, so he's just got to pick a side, um, strike the ball true, and it, it, he knows how to take a penalty better than me. And then Kingstonian right at the end of the half, whether they deserve the goal, I think for their general possession, I think they, even though they didn't create enough chances maybe, they probably are good value to being back in the game and nothing really Kinane could do about that one. It was good play by Desain, cutting back inside and obviously Pat Nash could do nothing about the finish either. Yeah, it's an interesting one because of how the, that left-hand channel was a little bit exposed, um, Kinane sort of had, he had, he had a lot of work to do to, go, to catch up. What he'll be regretting is he looked like he did that work. He caught up, and because maybe because he's had to catch him up, he's um, you know been easier to faint inside. And, and you know, as I was saying earlier, these guys are, are step three players. They're going to have quality. Um, you know, Kanane himself, a player that's played at that level and above. Um, so he'll be he'll be frustrated with that. No, knowing 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 Ryan like I do, he he holds himself to such such a high standard. So he'll watch that back, um, and you know. I think maybe if you're playing a player that you play more often or you know better, you'd have known he was maybe stronger on the left foot. Maybe if I can, if I can give him an excuse. But um, yeah, good finish. You know, to beat Pat Nash like that, you know, very good finish. One thing I have noticed in this first half um, has been Jimmy Hibbert has been very encouraging towards Brandon Kalu. I think a number of times Kalu stepped in and done his defensive work very well. Again, as we touched on before the game, it's very difficult as a left footer playing right back, but it's noticeable that the, the coaching staff are sort of talking him through the game because he's used to playing alongside Ryan Kalane, who would do that job, but this time Paul Johnson and Jimmy Hibbert taking it upon themselves. Yeah, and, and it's interesting because you do feel like the fullbacks, whoever on the manager's side, seem to get shouted at the most. Um, but to be fair to him, he's, you know, there was a couple of moments early where it looked like he was, um, there was a lot of space he was leaving. But then I think, he, you know, Jack, as we said, Jack Dean sort of come across and they've, they've grown into the game. They've got the first touches out of the way. Um, and he's actually defended pretty well. Um, I think defensively is probably not the biggest issue with, with playing him there. It's you lose a little bit going forward because it's very unnatural for him to go forward. Um, but I think, like, I think Paul Johnson will be happy. Um, as, as we said earlier, you've got, you got to use your squad. You know, you've got, you got injuries, you, you've got to use your squad. What will he want to see in the second half, Paul Johnson, as he just strides back to the touchline now? Oh, I think he'll just want to see Farnham be a, a little bit more aggressive going forward. I think they've they've picked up second balls well in, in the, the uh, offensive third. I think Owen Dean's been really good. I think he's been really positive. Um, Lidl's been really good with the press, maybe a little bit lacking 
with the ball, and I think I think he'll want to see a bit more from that. I think a, a really good half for, for for Johnson would be Adam Little getting a goal, maybe um, Farnham just just taking this game and, and making it comfortable, making it a Farnham game. Um, to do that against a team two divisions above would be very very promising, and uh, let's hope it doesn't go to penalties. <laughs> Yeah, obviously we're we're speaking very much from a Farnham perspective, but Kingstonian are just looking for something to cling on to, something positive from this season. So they're going to be very determined to come out and try and turn this game around. Well, look, you win today, and, and we think you're in the quarterfinals. Um, and a lot of teams pull out of these sort of competitions. So, like, if you are bottom or, or you know in the bottom three of the league, a win tonight, then you're like you're going into Saturday and you've just won a game, and then that can sort of spark something, you know. I know a lot of people see it as a distraction, but actually it can work as work in the opposite way and, and, and sort of give life to your season. And even if you do go down, I know that's not what they all want. Even if you do go down, you, you have a memorable day. I know and go and win a cup. I think that would be that would be something that could spark, you know, something that they can take into their next season if they are in step four. You know, if they're in step four next season, Kingstonian are a massive club. They'll, they'll be looking to go straight back up. So, um, yeah, it, there's a lot to play for for both teams. And that there was a Farnham Cup run shortly after uh, sort of the, the, the takeover, and obviously that was a great night here. Do you think that, obviously, you can't connect the two things, but do you think that was maybe like a factor in why this group, of course, there's a lot of different players now, but the club, the mentality, the spirit of the place, do you think that Cup run sort of spurred that on in a way? Yeah, look, it paid a, it paid a massive part. I think you'd have probably, you know, have still had most of the same players come down or whatever, but. I know personally there was a couple of players that we signed in the summer that came to that game, um, and they saw that what was going on around the club. You know, there were a thousand people here. Um, it felt like a proper game. It felt like a proper stadium. It felt like a stadium, a club that were above step five. And um, yeah, that 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 just showing that we can win a win a cup. Um, I think it not just brought the sort of players together, but it, it made the fans more attached to the club. And and I think we're very lucky here to have a town that's so supportive of Farnham. Um, they're supportive of this football club. Attendances have gone from averaging around 300 to averaging around 450, 500. So, um, yeah, the town are starting to get behind the club and I think the cup was a, was, a, was definitely a leg on that journey. Absolutely, and the uh, Farnham team just making their way back out onto the pitch now, the second half just moments away, so thanks for sticking with us throughout half-time. And uh, yeah, let's hope oh. from a Farnham perspective that they can see this one out. Got through 15 minutes right then. Got through 15 <laughs> minutes, yeah, it went by pretty quick. <laughs> Camera getting a little wipe with the uh, conditions there. Very rainy, again, I'd, uh, you'll have to tell us on, in the comments, but it is very wet. Indeed. I think if you're the, the groundsman for Farnham, you're hoping it's not too heavy because Farnham are back in action on Saturday. So Harry Cooksley standing over the ball. Farnham all smiles. Yeah, look, they're, they're a confident group. They've won, is it 21, 21 league games in a row. If they're not confident, then they're in the wrong sport. Um, can they turn that into a, another couple of goals and really get this uh, Surrey Cup campaign up and running? Farnham got a, a bye in the first round they were in. And then in the second round, they were meant to play Egham and Egham pulled out. So this is Farnham's first go at the Surrey Cup this season. Last season went out to Camberley Town. But that, but that was before Paul Johnson and Jimmy Hibbert took to the dugouts. Yeah, he, he, got, he got the wrong idea. Fight down, little man. And Pat Nash emerges. Better late than never. He's changed his shirt. I think when it's wet and windy, you know Kingstonian are going to put men on the on Nash in the go, in the corner. So I don't blame the ref for wanting that change. Probably would have looked at it before the game, but. So away we go. 
Farnham 45 minutes away from progression in this Surrey Senior Cup. And they'd love to add another trophy to the cabinet. But won't be easy against the Kingstonian side that have showed good, good character, good fight to get back into the game. Yeah, the Kingstonian fans have moved to our end from where to where the Kingstonian team are attacking. They've taken their flags. Yeah, they'd love to see an equaliser down, down that end. Little. Cooksley in a bit of a battle there. Comes off second best. That will do. Does well to retain the ball. Water. Drake. And it almost found its way through to Samo, but Kanane was there. Tom Smith taking no chances, putting his foot through that. Very early going. Certainly end, ended the off strongest. Yeah, the ball is going to be slippy. Extra care needs to be taken. No lapses of concentration. Otherwise, you could find yourselves out of this Surrey Senior Cup. Owen Dean going up, and his header finds Flatman. Claims of handball, but referee waves play on. Dowadu comes across well. Smith. Nobody really in that area. So it runs through to Tolfrey. He is looking for Price up against Smith, who wins the header. And now Rule. All the way to Nash. Surprised it wasn't pressured a bit more there, Nash. Flatman gets in there well, and Kalu has a lot of time. Here's Cooksley. Rule has found some space on the left, and Smith is running beyond him. And that's who Kanane looks for. Nice football. Cooksley clips it over the top, and Dean Rule is onside. Into the penalty area. And it's across to face a goal by Dean. Who was going for goal? Little was right there. 
Yeah, I'm surprised. I, I thought that was sort of there for Little. Those are the areas I find I need to get Dean Rule in. He, he, you know, he's last few weeks he's really picked up some draw sort of areas, putting it across goal, getting it for that cut back, and he's done it there. Dean Rule, fantastic player in brilliant form. Owen Dean couldn't quite apply the finish. Yeah, it was a, a cross out almost by Dean. Sort of poked it. And here come Kingstonian with the same. Gets onto his left, and this time his isn't as clever as his goal in the first half. But positive signs for Farnham there. There's, they've not, they haven't really opened Kingstonian up. Maybe apart from that Adam Little one at the end of the first half, and um, they did so there. And there was space for both teams in attack there. Do you think that would suit Farnham if it does become end to end? Even though they have the lead, do you think they'll, they'll be happy if it becomes that sort of game second half? Uh, you know what I do? I think Farnham trust their defenders, Canane and Jack Dean, against in a one-on-one -on -one against either of those forwards. And I think Kingstonian probably don't trust their defenders in one-on-one -on -one against Liddell and, and Owen Dean. Dean wins the flick there and gets it back from Liddell. He's waiting for some support. Kalu provides it, but... Dean still has it. And uh, Drake stepped in there ahead of Liddell. Back it goes to Jack Dean. And now Pat Nash. Farnham go again. Smith. And uh, again, the ball forward just doesn't find its man. But Rule stepped in, and here's Owen Dean with another chance. Owen Dean cuts back onto his right. And the control there by Jack, sorry, by uh, Dean Rule was not his best. Yeah, Owen Dean actually did well. It looked like he probably should have gone on his own though. Maybe he didn't go with his left based on the shot he had last time. The same. Castrati. No, that's and not a foul. Uh, not a foul at all. Wanted a free kick. Doesn't get it. Maybe fortunate not to. He penalised for handball. Here's Water with time. Now German. That will do on the right hand side. Price couldn't quite control it. And has cutting a frustrated figure at the start of the second half. And we saw him lose his frustration, or lose his temper in the first half and got booked for it. And the wind is really picking up. Smith beaten to it. Kinane hooks it away, but only as far as water. And now Desane has Mason for support. Water again. Good football by Kingstonian. Just unable to really progress into a dangerous area, but here's Price looking to take on Smith and deliver the cross, which he does. Kinane stabs it away, throw in. Kingstonian very impressive in those last five minutes. Farnham looking a little bit nervy at the back. Tom Smith in particular looks, looks a little bit nervous, getting a little bit of stick from these fans down below. Yeah, he won't be used to that. And it's another throw, and Farnham camped in their own half at the moment. Not often they have to defend like this. There's only probably been a few moments this season. Fleet away. Somo finds water, and his low cross goes right across the face of goal. Kalu got a touch on it, but still an opportunity. And Farnham will look to counter with Owen Dean. He has little to his left. And his touch got away from him. And now Kingstonian come the other way, and it is becoming that basketball match that we may be anticipating a moment ago. Yeah, Owen Dean, he just had to play lids in there on the left. Um, we know how good Owen Dean is at dribbling, but sometimes you've got to pop it off. Smith, again, the subject of some stick from the Kingstonian fans, but here's Liddell. And now... Kalu. I think Kanane there just, just calling for a little bit of calm. It had, as you said, had been sort of turned into that basketball match. Not not what Farnham want to one ahead. And Lidders probably want a smart free kick there. Just slow it down. Get men in the box. Yes, 
you know, Farnham able to gather themselves for a moment. Just been under a bit of pressure and they'd love to alleviate that. It's Flatman. Over this one. And it's a low driven cross, which Dean does well to control. And he got a good contact on his shot. Yeah, it looked like the one they sort of practiced. I know Flatman took a couple of uh, set pieces on Saturday that were really flat. Um, looked like one again. Shamal Edwards being ready down below us, as is Kai Tanner. So it's like a double change. Here's Dean. And now Flatman. Harry Cooksley. Rules in a lot of space on my left flank if Little can find him. Just outnumbered, but it comes to rule via Cooksley. Dean Rule. And couldn't quite get his feet sorted out. He's probably lucky to get a corner in the end. Yeah, look, they'll take that. Um, again, Farnham have probably ridden out that little that passage of play there. There was, there was a little, it was probably a, a two or three minute spell where Kingstonian really popping it around the box. Um, Farnham have got out of that and look a threat on the counter. Yeah, Kingstonian also preparing a change. But first, they got this corner to defend. Dean. Still not away, now it is though, and oh, it was poor control, Kalu is allowed back in. Would have been a promising situation there for Kingstonian, but instead, Farnham can maybe, well, they're going to have another set piece, but that was Stupid. almost almost a precarious situation there for, Kingst for Farnham, rather, yeah. with Kingstonian having numbers. Another one probably down to Kings the conditions there, Look, looked like he sort of fell over. Ball held up a little bit in the wind. So they, are, they are testing conditions out there. This time Cooksley takes over set piece duties. In it comes. Headed away, but Cooksley might have another go at it. Away it goes again, but nobody left up the pitch by Kingstonian. Clip forward by Kalu. We'll find Dean. Flatman. Yeah, fine. I'm looking to play Dean intricately, but not Dean Moore's really. got to get that ball there. It's time the wind is a factor. Over the top it goes. And the Sane's chasing it down. Kalu goes back to Nash. He has to be careful and is. Good turn there by Water. He's looking for Price. And Nash came out to intervene. The flag was up. Smith just seemed Price. to switch off. I mean, there was a flag up, but I mean, he just seemed to, to give up there. Water is definitely the player for Kingstonian who looks to be most capable of carving out a chance like that, creating those openings, especially if Farnham's fullbacks are going to fall asleep at times. Yeah, but the thing is, Kingstonian are starting to leave a few gaps. And that's probably why you're seeing Shamal Edwards getting ready. Yeah, player who won't. It's gone over the top of Kanane's head and he's got just enough on that header to allow yeah, Pat Nash to get He was in a really awkward position there, like, heads it back, he probably leaves it to an oncoming attacker. Has to just back himself to get enough on it. And, and luckily, you've got a very quick keeper in Pat Nash, so he's, he's, he's done well there. That's the cut out wide now to Dawadu. German. Looking over the top again, and Smith gets a touch on it, but needed Kinane to come and sweep up the danger. Little backs into his man. Appeals from behind the goal for a foul. Ooh. That's a testing one. Flatman will chase, but Tolfrey does well to find Mason. And Kingstonian are right in this game. You don't feel like it will finish 2-1? No, I'd be very surprised. I think they're going to they're gonna commit more and more men forward. And Dean looking to get on the end of it. Fender's done well. 
Another ball over the top. Smith does well this time. Canane to Flatman. And that's a nice cushion pass to Kalu. Oh, that's a good pass. Finds Dean Rule. Little comes out wide. Here's Little. No foul. Not a foul, not a foul. He's gone down too easily. The same. Looking for the run of Somo. Jack Dean tracking back. Somo back to Desain. Some more appeals for a foul and another one there. But the referee happy to let that one go as well. Some, some tired legs out there already. Yeah, Cooksley not in any rush to drive forward. Finally perhaps calling for a bit of calm. Yeah, I've got an important league game on Saturday. Kalu committed himself there, gives away the free kick. Yeah, he was either going to win the ball or give away a free kick that there was no in between. And they've taken it quickly, and they weren't alive to it, and Jackson's bursting through the middle. Here's Liddell on his left foot. Adam Liddell shot is tipped over the bar. Great effort from Liddell. Yeah, was it? you know what? Liddell can be uh, guilty of trying to overcomplicate those, but he, he shifted out to his left. Great shot and actually a really good save. Um, strong hand. Kind of looked like for a minute he was, if he put that with enough power, it was going to go in, but the, the keeper did well. Very good. Could be Adam Liddell's last action. Tom Smith just stretching in front of us as well. Like you say, maybe there are some tired legs. Yeah, another option you could have Kai Tanner in there. Kalu comes over to left back. Kingstonian fans having a lovely time. In it comes. Headed away. Price. Skips away from Rule. Flatman now tracking back, but skips past Smith. And across the face of goal, Kalu not all the way out. Price gets his feet in a bit of a tangle, still finds the cross, and it's headed out for another Kingstonian corner. Price looking very dangerous on the right flank. Yeah, I mean, look, Farnham, look, that's pretty shoddy defending in, in their books. Um, Tom Smith had a chance to clear it. Dean Rule could have taken him down. I think they're just getting in too easily here. Tom Smith again stretching over there. Yeah. Kingstonian ready to make their first change. Bello, the man coming on. And uh, Akeem Adflakon being withdrawn. I mean, we did see Edwards and Tanner. Yeah, just not going to make subs on a defensive set piece. Did see them kitted out about five minutes ago, ready to go, but still not been brought on. I wonder if there's been a change of heart. <coughs> but it's still a precarious situation for Farnham. Corner comes in. Kalu wins the header at the near post. And here's Liddell. Flatman's making a bursting run through the middle, but Mason came across to make the challenge on Liddell. And now... We are going to see... Charlie's coming on as well. A triple change. <laughs> All three Farnham substitutes. No more after this. So, maybe a risk to make all three changes now? Yeah, I think so. Um, but, you know, I think Tom looked like he was stretching his calf there, so he's coming off. Brandon over to left back. Joe Jackson's gone out to right back, and I think Kai will probably play in the centre of midfield. Just making sense of who's coming off. Dean Rule's definitely coming off. Tom Smith's come off. 
and Flatman. Applause the clock end, they <laughs> receive some boos from the Kingstonian fans. Usually a sign of a good player. So Kai Tanner has slotted into midfield by the looks of things. Postance and Edwards up front. Little maybe playing a little bit deeper. Yeah, I think so. It'd be an interesting area for him because he's very good at the, all those sort of things that a 10 would do. So, you know, there's another opportunity there for Jono to look at him in that position. Dean. Really good work from him and here is Little. And gives away a free kick there, Adam Little. The fresh legs there of the Kingstonian substitute, Bello, paying dividends. I'm just going to have a word with Little. It's not the first free kick he's given away tonight. Nothing sinister, obviously, but... No, no. That rain has just got heavier. <laughs> Indeed. Coxley didn't get his clearance right, and it's off the bar. What a let off for Farnham. Yeah, they, you know, they don't look like a calm side. It's a side that have won 21 league games in a row, they can panic in these situations. And it comes from German. This time the clearance is a more significant one, and this is where Shamal Edwards can stretch his legs. Dawodu did well to come across and deny him. But that's just another warning sign, that effort off the crossbar. This game is by no means done. And you know what, it's been a bit of a cracking cup tie here. Um, both sides have gone for it. You know, no, you, know, you often see a team that will come to Farnham and, and really sit in, but they, Kingstonian are giving it a proper go. Yeah, all credit to them. Edwards. Kalu gets the cross in. All the way through to Dean. And now Farnham reset with Jackson. Owen Dean. Harry Cooksley. Can he pick out a man in pink? He might go for goal. Capable, Always rising. Capable of both feet. Um, Cooksley's sort of interesting and sort of good guy that sort of saunters through games at his own pace and then when he's in and around that area he really quickens up. Those step overs seem to give him a little boost of speed. Um. Yeah, good control there. Kenain strong in the tackle but fair. Jackson steps in. Yeah, really good control by Somo there initially. Yeah, he's had a quiet game. He's not really had too much. He had to get through a lot of running on his own. Not really had too much support. Some defending for Dean to do. The same. He's been very lively. In comes the cross. Away by Tanner. And hooked further away by Little. Chasing those balls down. Not really possums his game, but he'll give it his best. Again, Kingstonian beat the press. It's getting stretched this game. Bello. And now Adebay. Kalu looks a lot more comfortable over on the left. <laughs> over the top it goes. Jackson gets enough on it. And vintage Harry Cooksley control, but not a vintage pass. It's just an area, get the team up the pitch. Water. And he's looking for Desain. Another chance for him. Just a bit of a tame effort. Nash dealt with that easily. But the threat is still there from Kingstonian. And a lot of it's coming through Desain. Fire, 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 fire. Fire, fire. Fire, fire. Fire, fire. 
Dean, his header only as far as Price, who is tugged by Jackson, and he brings him down eventually, and he's going to go into the referee's book. I think that's fair enough. Yeah, he's not happy about it. <laughs> yeah, can't have any real complaints. And these situations can be dangerous for both teams, really. Kingstonian obviously will load the penalty area, but the pace of Edwards the other way, Farnham will fancy it if they can yeah, gather not, this. You know, Farnham are very watched team in their own league, so players have normally scouted Shamal Edwards pretty much, so he doesn't, doesn't always get that sort of isolation or that, that space to run into. But, but. Canane's header. Is German back into the box and the header is wide from Somo. It was a good opportunity. She couldn't hit the target. No, look, he's, he's worked tremendously hard tonight and he's finally got his opportunity and couldn't quite convert it. But Farnham, Farnham, since the changes, haven't really had a, had a foothold. They, they looked like they were going to start count, catching him on the counter attack and it hasn't quite materialised yet. Yeah, Kingstonian will be encouraged by what they're seeing. But as we know, Farnham, when they've got fresh legs up front, can be dangerous. When they have the lead and the opposition is committed forward. You yeah, need to see a bit more from Postance here. Water. Tanner closing down. Water does well to come out of that situation. Somo beaten to it by Cuxley. Pat Nash again has to be careful with these. And to his credit, he's been pretty good with them all night. Liddle and Jackson there, getting yeah. a bit tangled up. There's a few nervy touches here. Farnham aren't able to string quite as many passes as they were in that first half. Kingstonian sure. really growing in confidence. That will do. German, closed down by Edwards, back to Tolfrey, and now Drake. Water, so tireless tonight, Water, but he's been dispossessed there by Dean. Here's Tanner, looking for his mate Dean, just can't quite make the most of that situation. Uh, Got to hold the ball up there, got to. That ball was a bit heavy. Kinane just pumps it forward and shakes his head. He's not happy. You can see the, the flags behind the goal there. It's just, just an indication how windy it is here. Kinane. Harry Cooks has all sorts of time. And he looks for Postance. Second ball picked up. And Kingstonian just want one more chance. Got a quarter of an hour, so plenty of time. Bello. Telegraphed by Kalu. Who does He's well. Done really well there, Kalu. To find Postance. Can he hold it up and find a teammate? He does. He's done much better there, Charlie. Edwards. Looking to take on Dewudu. And his touch just got away from him. Yeah, it just gave too much of him to him there. Yeah, but good work by Kalu there. And Postance. That's his job now for the next quarter of an hour. Just hold it up. Wait for the support, because it will come. Yeah, almost looks a bit more of a 4-2-3-1 for Farnham now. Uh, Shams looks very much like he's on the left wing. And uh, Adam Liddle almost looks like the sole 10 rather than one of two. Tana. It's not a foul, that. And Farnham have a potentially promising situation here. Kai Tana. It's going to come through to Owen Dean. Saved. Tana. Little. And Postance tried to get his left foot on it. But that was a real chance. There were three chances there for Farnham to put the game to bed. Yeah, they're going to have to take one of these eventually because there will be a dodgy last five minutes. And... Uh, 
Tanner showed a lot of composure, picked out a good pass. I think the man slipped, went over to Owen Dean, who unleashed a good shot. Um, that'll be better for that's better for Paul Johnson. He'll be encouraged. Going to see another Kingstonian change, I think. Hi. Ready. Dacer, the man being ready. And Freddie Price makes way. German bringing it out from the back and Kanane commits himself and the ball over the top very good from Nash. Nash very good decisive goal gets up to win the header and Dean lost his footing and so they have a man down they elect to play on. Farnham shouldn't give that ball back. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought they will. <laughs> Joe Jackson. He's played a couple of different positions today. <laughs> As he tends to. Yeah. Very much the utility man, but a quality operator. He's yeah, done very well this season. Here's Edwards. Oh, just from Lidl was sort of sums heavy. up the last 20 minutes of Farnham. It's just, they've had good positions. Canane demanding more from his attackers there. Maybe aren't pressing with the same vigour as they were in the first half. Understandable from Little and Dean's perspective. The same. And that's uh, Somo picking that one up. And no free kick against him. Kanane has gone right over to that right back position to deal with the danger. You know what, he's had a very, he's had a very good second half, Kanane. Days at a substitute, and it does work his way through to Sommer, who goes down, and Nash again, quick off his line. You know what, Pat Nash had a great game. Um, been really decisive, and he's not, he's not really thought and, and, and questioned whether a yes or no to come. He's just come out, been very decisive, and, and you know, he hasn't, hasn't got his clean sheet tonight, but he's had a, he's had a very good performance. Possence the target, it's just over him. Drake lofts it forward. Kalu's header. Seems to always fall to a Kingstonian player for those situations. And they've got an opportunity here. Mason's cross is low and it's dealt with. Possence. That time wins his battle. And Edwards points to where he wants it. Here is Shamal Edwards. Forced to turn back. He's got Little in support and Kai Tanner. Here's Tanner on the edge of the box. Adam Little might fancy a shot. He does and scores! Adam Little wraps up the victory for Farnham with a brilliant finish at Tolfrey's near post. And that is the game done and dusted. Yeah, look, it looks like it's going to be a brilliant win for Farnham and, and Adam Liddell, he'll be very happy with that. You know, he, he's done that a couple of times this season. He sort of come to look inside and wrap one into the near post. Um, he's left the keeper not knowing where to go. It's a brilliant finish and, and Farnham haven't quite shown that killer instinct today, but Adam Liddell's done it there. Um, and it's a brilliant goal and, and Farnham should go on to get a very impressive victory here. Yeah, they'll be bringing, breathing a sigh of relief. You could just sense a little bit of anxiety up until that moment. We saw it from Kanane, I'm sure. Paul Johnson and Jimmy Hibbert felt the same, but Kingstonian were growing and growing into the match and it needed to be killed off. Yes, and, and, and Liddell's killed it off and uh, very happy for him. Panache again decisive. 
Yeah, he's been he's been brilliant, Pat Nash, to be fair. But you could definitely tell that Kingstonian have, have got a bit of quality about them. Of course they've struggled this season in the league, but it's a difficult league, but definitely one of the better performances, better footballers we've seen at the Memorial Ground this season. Yeah, for sure. Um you know, there there are players here that have probably come from a couple of levels above and, and you like at Farnham and um you know, they'll be looking to, to finish the season strong and they've definitely not been embarrassed today. You know, they've, they've given a great account of themselves. On another day, this could have been a very different scoreline. Yeah, it's been a great watch. Hopefully those of you I on think, the stream enjoyed it. I think Farnham have just had, just had the better of both boxes. Um, you know, Kinane and Dean and then going forward, Lids and Owen Dean have been better than the, the sort of counterparts in green. And uh, games are won and lost in both boxes, really. Harry Cooksley standing over the free kick. And despite the, the lead, Farnham are committing men forward. Kinane gets his head on it. And it's not dealt with. Liddle, he fancies another. This time his effort is high and wide. Set piece just really dealt with there by Kingstonian. And it looks like they're looking to make another switch. over how many subs they're allowed, I think. I believe it's three from five, to be honest, but... Yeah, they want to bring their fourth and final substitute on, but might not be allowed to. Anyway, here's Bello, who was one of the substitutes in the second half. Back to another in Adebayi. Good boy, like it! And while they have responded well to the first two Farnham goals, maybe this time it is going to be too late for them to mount another challenge and another route back into the game. As German strides forward. I tell you what, you've not seen the heads drop though, and I think often sides that are near the bottom, you see them start like bickering and, and you know, maybe it's not going their way, but they, they've been positive all night. Tanner. Cooks the, the outside of the foot and German by hook or by crook defends the situation and he's played the switch. Jackson solid as ever. And it's just a case of seeing this last few minutes out now, but that's good skill by Bello. Cuts back inside and again another player that just loses his footing. Postance. Holds it up, and Dean was looking for Edwards there. Got his contact all wrong. The same. Brandon Kalu, tenacious. Somo. And Aaron Dean again cuts that out, and Postance might be in here. Charlie Postance is in. Looking to make it four. Postance denied by the left foot of Tolfrey. He's done well there, Charlie, to be fair. Stuck to his task, got his shot away on target, forced the keeper into a save. Wasn't to be, but yeah, positive. Yeah, battled well to create the shooting opportunity for himself. Not renowned for his pace. German. Kingstonian fans still singing their hearts out. Fair play to them. You know, they've, they've traveled. It's a decent journey from, from Kingston down to here. So, uh, fair play to them. They've come and traveled and the result's not gone their way tonight. But, uh, you know, just from seeing them tonight, I personally hope they have a couple of good results, in, you know, in the future. Gonna get this one not, might not be over, though. No, still got a few minutes to go. A goal here would make it a very nervy last few minutes.
Delivery is decent. Kalu got up very well, landed awkwardly. And he's still down. It was a hard landing there for Kalu. One of, those, one of those ones where you just want to get the game done, get no more injuries. Farnham obviously, as you said earlier, you've got a big league game on Saturday and then again the following Tuesday. We're in that, we're in that meet, meet of the season now where you go Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. Um, and it's all about keeping everyone fit. Absolutely. I was just going to say, Farnham's goal scorers tonight, Lewis Flatman, that was his 12th goal of the campaign. Same for Harry Cooksley, 12. Adam Little, that was his 13th. Wow. Racking up numbers. Yeah, they are. And, and, and um, they're all going to look back on this season with, with a really impressive set of numbers. And it's actually interesting because Farnham haven't really had that one player that's gone on and got, you know, 20, 30 yet. They've got, you know, Daryl Sanders and Shamal Edwards are a little bit out in front. But, yeah, they've, got, they, 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 they've spread the goals out well. And I think, that's, I think that's a good thing. They're not reliant on one player that, you know, is going to score 30, 40 goals. And if they're injured, they're, they're in trouble. You know, they've... They've got goal scorers all over the pitch. Even Ryan's got, you know, five, six, seven, and Jack Dean's got a couple. Edwards is bombing forward here, and Lidl has picked him out, and it just got caught on the turf there. It's going to run out of play. They've been desperate to get in on the act. But yeah, ultimately, Farnham tonight, I mean, they've, they've beaten a, a opposition two tiers above without Daryl Sanders. Yeah, it's no, no, no easy feat. No, they've only played uh, step three opposition another one other time this season. It was Cheshire in the FA Cup. A thousand people here. Oh, and uh, the Sane has robbed Joe Jackson there. Wants to get it onto his left and does. Yeah, we're able to apply the finish. Yeah, I was just saying, they've, they played Cheshire in, in the FA Cup. And, and, you know, they gave him a lot. They gave him too much respect in that first sort of 15, 20 minutes of that game. Didn't do that today. I mean, we said Kingstonian probably edged it, but Farnham did give them the respect and they uh, they made it a game straight. Whereas against Chesham, Farnham won two goals down very early. Had a moment after that. Um, so yeah, they'll be happy. You know, Farnham, a, a team that won go up the leagues and, and, and to do that, you're going to have to beat teams in the higher leagues. So as you've got no injuries, I think it's a uh, job done. Tom Smith just stretching. Yeah, out that's bit. one. That's one to watch. I mean, thing Farnham made is more injury. I mean, the, the only thing you would say about that one is you got Brandon Kalu, who, who's looking more and more comfortable every game. So, if there was going to be one area, then be it. I think we're about to see added time, which is good. Cooksley loses that time. Gets past Jackson and gets his shot off. And the chances are still coming for Kingstonian. And there's four added minutes. If that had gone in, it would have been a very interesting four minutes. But yeah. to say, you know, he's, he's obviously got himself on the score sheet tonight, but he'll hear the fact he could have had a hat trick. Yeah, he's looked, there, he's looked their brightest player by an absolute country mile. Um, even when he's on his right, he looks like he's going to take the shot and sort of shift onto the left, even though you know he's left. He's a really good you know, number of suitors at the level he's playing at. Look like a very young team on, on the whole Kingstonian, really. Yeah, some, some, some real talent in that squad. Reasons to be positive, even in these difficult moments. Postance gets up for that one. Forward it goes from Dawadu. And will there be one more chance for Farnham for one of the substitutes to get their name on the score sheet? Not that time. Water. Loose one there from Adebayi. Cuxley just looking to slow it down. Here he is again, Harry Cuxley. Pushing the back there, but stays on his feet. And Aaron Dean just looking to prevent the game behind for a goal kick. Forward come Kingstonian again. That will do. 
He's got runners ahead of him. One of them being Dessa. Just turn back into Kaitana there, who got back well. Little again, Farnham on the counter attack. Have some space, and Edwards is making the run left. Ignores him though. Here's Postance. Shoots, and he's leaning back. Yes, very good there. Won the ball, draw, you know, driven forward. Shams, they've actually defended Shamal Edwards really well. Um, every little nick's not gone for Shamal Edwards. It's not really been his night off the bench. Um, I'm sure he'll, he'll bounce back against Cobham. But it looks like we're going to have a quarter final to look forward to. Hopefully, a home tie. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Lucky with the home draws this season. I think they've played 10 cup games, maybe less, and, and, and eight of them, or only two of them have been away. So I think they're doing away, Ty. But you've got, you know, you've got the likes of Badgley in there, Chertsey Town. Um, good games. Yeah, Woken is still in there. Uh, Post and Edwards are going to come off. Add it to their good tally. Yeah, there's, there's, but there's a there's a for them, and they've not not quite been able to get it. Charlie probably had better of the opportunities. More defending. He's the wrong side. Sommer who got and Pat Nash had to make the save. Just did enough there. Good height for him and. Didn't really have to scramble too much to deny Kingstonian. And I think just want that final whistle now. Safely into the... Canane still very demanding. No foul. Owen Dean dribbling into the box. And rattling the post, it's going to be Lidl. Owen Dean might get another chance. Here's Tanner, will he shoot? He does! He's just trying to guide it into that far corner. The same. Not sure why Owen Dean kept that in. <laughs> Still the same carries it. Jack Dean forcing him to turn back around. But that's a good ball to Bello. Can he pick out a cross? It's a low one. And the shot there from Somo kind of sums up Kingstonian's second half. Just haven't really been able to test Pat Nash enough. No, but they, you know, they definitely not for a, a want of trying. Um, But yeah, Farnham, Farnham will be happy with this. You know, you, 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 yes, people will look at the table and Farnham at the top and Kingstonian at the bottom and say you should win that. But I think I mean, any time you beat a team in the division above or two divisions above, as the case tonight, I think you'd be happy. And, uh, and the fans will go through happy. You know, the league campaign is what it is and, and there's no getting away from that. But the, the cup campaign gives you a nice little something else to aim for, a couple of new grounds to visit. And that is full time. Farnham Town advance. They've beaten Kingstonian by three goals to one. And Paul Johnson will be delighted. Goals from Lewis Flatman, Harry Cooksley, and Adam Liddle round off an excellent night for the hosts. And they move on. Thank you very much for watching on the stream. Hope you've enjoyed. It's been an excellent cup tie. And we look forward to the next one. A bit worried about going down that ladder, to be honest. Thank <laughs> you.